Yeah. What's up, guys? It's Texas Outlaw. I have a unboxing today slash review of the CC75 PO7 from Evike. It's the non-blowback version. It's a CO2 pistol. It has adjustable hop-up. So here it is. It has a full metal slide on top, and then the mag uh, slide release and the safety are metal, as well as the mag uh, mag release, the trigger, and the hammer. It has uh, white sights, kind of like Glock sights, kind of. Uh, this is the PO7, so it's basically like a ZZ PO9, but the more compact version. Uh, it goes back halfway, but it is non-blowback. Your hop-up is adjustable right here with an Allen key. Uh, so I have three targets set up about 30 feet away. I'm going to shoot them with this. I have .2s already loaded up, so here we go. So it's pretty accurate as you can see at 30 feet uh past 50 feet the bb's do start kind of uh going off to the sides but you know within i would say within 50 feet you should be fine uh, so the accuracy is pretty good as you guys can see and the pistol is built really well it feels like a like a hundred dollar pistol to be honest uh and it has some trademarks right here then right here you can see it says nine my 19. i'm not sure how well you guys can see that and uh yeah that's basically it has a rail on the bottom as well so you can put like flashlights and lasers whatever you want the way you access the co2 is you take the magazine out and then uh you kind of kind of have to pry this back piece off pull it down pull it down and then twist it and that's how you uh put your co2 cartridge in there then you twist this to tighten and loosen it up and then you just put it back and it just clicks back on load your magazine and that's it. So I'm gonna let my camera guy shoot it a couple of times. Te voy a hacer que la dispares un poquito. Deja pongo las las targets. So I'm gonna set up these uh, three inch, actually like probably more like four, five inches, five inch targets right here. About 20 feet away from him since it is his first time shooting one of these guns. So here he is. Dale. So here it goes again. So here it goes. Uh, so that's been the review for this pistol. Uh, I would say I, I'd recommend it if you guys are looking for something cheap to use on the field uh, without really, you know, dropping a lot of money on a sidearm. This is a pretty good option. The trigger pull does get lighter if you pull the hammer back. You can pull it back to here before it breaks. And then the trigger pull is a lot lighter instead of just pulling all the way from the front. It's a heavier trigger pull if you don't cock it. But if you cock it, lighter. So that's it for this, guys. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day.